Hey guys, uh, this is Al. Um, it's uh, coming up to the evening. I just picked up a car. Uh, it was a local car, so I'm using my truck. I went to the U-Haul trailer. And um, I'm going to make my way to the shop. Probably stop off at the buckets to get a drink. You know, it's, at you. it's a non-runner, of course. So I had to winch it onto the uh, onto the uh, U-Haul trailer with a come along. So I'm um, Kind of exhausted, a little bit thirsty. Um, yeah, so let me get to the Bucky's and then I'll give you a quick look around while it's still daylight. All right, guys, so I stopped off at the Bucky's. Um, as you can see, picked myself up a 1971 Mercedes Benz 300 SEL 3.5. So these are pretty rare, they're the three and a half litre um, V8s, it's a nicer engine than the 4.5 but they only run them up until 71 because of the um, emissions requirements I guess but doesn't run, has a little bit of damage right here it's like, it's like the bad rear panel um, it's got some uh, crazing around here, I, I'm assuming it's Bondo um, it has been repainted once before by the looks of it, but not bad, not terrible. Um, it doesn't run, but I think I can get it running. I'm pretty good at getting these ones running. And if I do get it running, I think I can get into it and drive it pretty easily. Um, I guess the secret to having the suspension up in the air like this is uh, using 4x4s instead of 2x4s. I'll uh, shoot another video when I get to the shop, but right now my hands are dirty. I've used a come along to load this thing up. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then uh, uh, give myself some drink. Bloody horrible. Sorry, it looks like I'm getting fuel. I can hear the fuel pump running, but um, it doesn't sound like I'm getting any spark because there's just no indication of firing. So looking at the body, it doesn't look too bad, but it's had a paint job in the past. You can tell it's been done in base clear. It's clear is burning off here. Which is okay because I think this color is hunter green, and I have um, I have some of this paint because I remember I painted my uh, well you may not remember, but about a decade ago I owned a 115 300 diesel that was in hunter green and I repainted it. It was the first car that I actually painted by myself, uh, a complete car as well, and it came out pretty nicely actually. I was quite impressed. So um, this uh, this obviously needs redoing. Uh, the gaskets are in horrible shape so whoever painted this car must have um, painted it with the with the uh, trim in place which would explain why there's a gouge right here it's probably a sanding disc that they were running across the car but other than that yeah so I could hear the fuel pump running while I was uh, trying to crank the car, but there was no indication of any kind of fire. So I'm guessing that the ignition is bad. Um, something's going on with the ignition. It's got this aftermarket coil, um, and I don't see a transistorized ignition unit. So they may have uh, jerry-rigged this and put some kind of, um, what is that called, petronics or something like that. But all in all, it does, ha it does sound pretty healthy when it cranks. The interior is, it's not horrible, but it's horrible enough to, be, to need everything, right? You know, you know how that goes, right? The dash is, dashwood is completely shot, but the door panels are good. Um, the leather seats are good enough to sit on, not good enough to you know, be presentable. Um, it does have a floor shifter, which I'm really excited about. Power windows don't work. I didn't try the air conditioning, the HVAC system. I'll try that next time. I already took the battery out. Um, so I, I end up unloading this thing using my trusty 560 SEC. So I, I just basically hooked it up to the, uh, to the uh, 300 SEL and just, you know, pulled it off the, uh, off the trailer. So it worked out and then, you know, I kind of moved it, moved it around by going in front of it and pulling it and then going behind it and pulling it until I, I got it in this spot over here, which is where it's going to sit until um, I get it to fire. So I may come by 
maybe Friday evening if I've got nothing going. Um, obviously the weather's more bearable at night in this place. Uh, it's absolutely unbearable, you know, in, in the daytime. But I may come over here in, in the evening and see if I can get it to fire.